Now on to a another indie short game, Slender Threads. So this is, I think, a point-and-click adventure game. Don't make your living selling other people's books when you're trying to write your own. I love me some point-and-click adventures. It seems brilliant at first. Immerse yourself in your craft, get a sense for what's popular, gather moments of inspiration from the unassuming... Oops. ...corners of the world. But immersing yourself in anything eventually takes its toll. This guy looks very tired. And this is the prologue. Oh, okay, that's... <sighs> Creepy. Shit. Uh, you'd think a recurring nightmare would eventually get less, I don't know, nightmarish. I need to take a break, get out of this room for a bit. Pick up the pen, left click for, for a quick action. Right click an object for more actions. Open your inventory. Click to use. Use on Harvey. That same nightmare again. I should take a walk to clear my head. Okay. Can I? He's on. No, okay. Well, this is very cool. Hasn't been the most successful sales trip so far, but hey, this town might want the whole pile. I'm not talking to that. Hasn't been the most, but hey. Oh, okay. So usually in like most point and click adventure games, right click will be like um kind of more of an investigative question like more of a description of what you're looking at and left click tends to be more of like an interaction but it's got the spyglass so it looks like i'll leave these here for now there you go okay so they've built it into the right click for three actions and you could talk to everything okay what walk to the plant i doubt it has much to say <laughs> i love that <laughs> I love this kind of dialogue. Can't imagine plants last long in here. Oh, can't imagine they do. So is there like um like a there's like a journal, right? Oh. Yes. Okay. I guess the 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 notebook. Basically, the journal of what you need to do. That's good, okay. Hotkeys. Oh, open and close inventory, open close map, H for hints, show hotspots. Okay, so it's quick, okay. Um hotspots. It wasn't H for hotspots. H for cl oh help open close hits. M for map. No map yet, and oh you can Seems appropriate that I'm staying in a room as disheveled as I am. <laughs> I like this guy so far. He's pretty funny. I'm not talking to that. You should. Maybe it has some uh, insight. So you can hit F to see everything you can interact with. Oh, okay. You hang it on your door to request housekeeping. Then, shall we put it on... Yeah, hang it not on the sure painting. I'm sure why I'd do that. Everything's going to interact with. Small town hotel art at its ugliest. Great, let's go to the hallway. And if I do this, can I? Like, 
I can't use it on here. Okay. Judging by the state of my room, I don't want to see this one. There are more cigarette butts on the floor than there are in here. It's funny because it's true. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. Knock on this one? Not sure if anyone's staying in this room. I doubt it has much to say. Okay, we'll go to the lobby then. Town maps. Don't see any maps though. That's upsetting. <clears throat> uh, hello? Hello. <clears throat> I know you. Harvey Green, uh, room three. Um, do you have a map of town I can borrow? Hmm, that's odd. People don't usually ask for maps. You're not in the book. Uh, maybe the morning guy forgot to add me when I checked in. <sighs> yeah, maybe. So, map? On the stand behind you. Stands empty. Well then, guess I'm out of maps. Guess so. Thanks. No problem. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. No hotel front desk is complete without a bell. Uh, let's go talk to this socialite. Well, if it isn't the traveling writer, welcome to Villa Ventana. Have we met? Oh, no. It but I saw fancy. your suitcase full of books burst open on your way into the hotel. And since it sounds like you are indeed a writer, you simply must meet Oswaldo. Oswaldo. Who's Oswaldo? Oh, a most charming and riveting storyteller. The life of every party he attends. In fact, he lives just a few doors down from here. Uh, thanks, miss. I'll drop by. Do tell him Gladys says hello. Where are you visiting from? Oh, about five blocks, give or take. You live here? Why are you staying in a hotel? Young man, vacationing is about mindset, not distance. You've traveled much farther than me to be here, but are you on vacation? Eh, uh, good point. She actually does make a really good point. Where are you visiting from? Oh, about- You live here? Young man, you've- uh, Didn't notice that it was the same question. You're looking elegant. Maybe too elegant for a place like this. Oh, I know, dear. Sadly, this filthy excuse for a hotel happens to be the only one for miles. Give it a rest, Gladys. I'll give it a rest when you learn how to brew a halfway decent cup of tea. <laughs> Crazy old thing. You love me. <laughs> okay. Take care. Yes, you take care. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to use WSD to move and it's... Guys, point and click events at Main Street. Okay, what's uh, this way? Laundry. Not my bags. They're okay. Locked. So no map. Go out to the Main Street then, I guess. Which is called Main Street. The West. evening air is perfect. I'll give the town that much. It's been here at least as long as I have. Hope it doesn't rain. Old neglected barrels and crates. Yes, they are. I'm really digging the art style of this game. It's pretty cool. Oh, if I hold down left click. Oh, cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was there a storm recently? Coming up next on Among the Shadows. Murder most foul. New radio drama. I haven't heard of this one. And what role does recent arrival Harvey Green play in these troubling events? Wait, what? Hey, who's in there? How do you know my name? Oswaldo? This isn't funny. I'm going inside. Hello? This looks abandoned. Or worse. Wait a second, so who's listening to the radio? And where is the radio? 
And why did it mention his name? Oh, well, there's a lot of interaction points here. Okay. Doesn't sound like the radio's in there. No, but you can bloody look. You know, Doesn't open it. sound like. Sounds like it's coming from in there. Oh, it's locked. Why? Who knows? The radio's in there. It has to be. It's filthy, just like everything else in here. A filthy animal. Did Oswaldo board up his own windows? Why? I don't even know Oswaldo. Oh, maybe I can use the scissors. Okay, so... Maybe I can... That would probably just damage the lock. Okay. Then don't do that, then. I think it's broken. The wall is covered in newspaper clippings, pictures, and scribbles. But why is there a crossword puzzle in the middle here? And what are these paper scraps stuck around it? Maybe I'm supposed to... Tell tale. What? The remaining letters spell telltale heart. Look at me, story, I'm smart. The narrator hides a body under the floor. I hope Oswaldo didn't consider that a source of inspiration. I'm glad I'm a genius. Dining table, maybe something on the dining table. Was there a struggle here? Why else would all these chairs be knocked over? I don't know. I don't know, Harvey. Let's go to the bedroom. Hello? Oswaldo? The front door was open. Is everything okay? Besides the stranger in your house, I mean. The radio's somewhere in this room. If I don't have anything to open the door... The remaining letters spell, and that's. Uh, okay. There's a crease in the corner of the rug, as if it's been folded up recently. Am I really going to look under there? Uh, I have to, right? Huh? Something down there is reflecting light from the window. It's a key. Yes. I'll definitely open something. This looks like it fits. Stop right there. Don't move. Good God, what the hell's going on in here? Who are you? What's your name? My name is Harvey Green. I'm in town for business. I'm staying over at the... What business? Uh, books. I sell books. I have a card in my pocket. Uh, can I... Slowly. What's all this on the wall? What have you been doing? Nothing. No, I, I, I don't know what any of this is. Bullshit. It's true. Some of the newspaper clippings on the wall over there are from months ago. I didn't even know this town existed until the company added it to my route last week. Let's say I believe you. Why are you in here? A woman at the hotel suggested I meet Oswaldo. Describe her. Older, dressed like she was at the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> That's Gladys, all right. Mr. Green, do you have any knowledge of Oswaldo's current whereabouts? No, Sheriff. Then I have a missing person on my hands. How did he know to come here Listen anyway? To me. I don't know what the hell's going on in this room. 
I do know that if people caught wind, it'd cause a town-wide panic. So you and I are gonna make a deal. I let you walk straight back to your hotel, and you tell no one about what you saw. Say a word or skip town, and I personally escort you to a jail cell. Do we understand each other? Yes, Sheriff. Good. Now get out of here. Shit, shit. Breaking into a house? What was I thinking? I mean, the door was Am I open. losing it? No, I swear I heard my name coming from in there. You did? I didn't imagine it. I couldn't have. And even if I did, I couldn't have imagined all that other stuff I saw in there. I can't just sit in here and ignore it. For starters, this is the only interesting thing that's happened in months. The only interesting thing. Oh, you still got the key, though. That's good. Um, yeah, what's it? H? Radio show just mentioned my name, but where's the radio? Well, I don't know what, what can I do in here, though. No reason to damage it further. Maybe you can speak to Gladys. Enjoying your stay, dear. I dropped by Oswaldo's house. Oh, lovely, dear. How is he? He's, um, he was out. You creative types are always off making mischief. <laughs> Take care. He doesn't seem too keen on chatting. No, he does not. Go to the laundry room yet? Still locked. What would that do? Good question. I don't know. Is that house still boarded up? Huh, it's a whole mannequin. A little beat up, but it's in one piece. Maybe I could clean it up and sell it. I don't see anyone in there. It's locked from the other side. Hi. What would that do? I don't see the point. Need to find some, like, clothes or something. Another 2D car. Go to the other side of the street, maybe? Then it'll uh, shed some light. Just a typical, just a typical, I don't have anything to, no, not anything to mail. Get out of the road. Watch it, buddy. Hey, you trying to get killed? That's How is this happening every single time? Deja Vu doesn't even begin to describe it. Get out of the road. That's ridiculous. Watch it, buddy! Hey, you're trying to get killed! How is this half deja vu done? <laughs> what the hell? That is, uh... Purple inconvenient. Yeah, maybe I try to go the other way. Oh, hey there, little fella. Where are you off to? Whoa! 
What? What the hell was that? I haven't heard any trains so far. I wonder if this is abandoned. That was not creepy. No way. I don't know what that creature was, and I don't want to find out. No way. Oh, Harvey. You chicken man. Come on. Oh, I guess brighter over here. It's amazing how dark it gets. <laughs> Go to the forest and everything just comes spooky. Okay. Good evening, officer. Evening, mister... Oh, uh, I don't believe we've met. My name's ha uh, Hugo. Victor Hugo. I'm a tourist. A tourist? Huh. We don't get many of those. Well, welcome to Villa Ventana, Mr. Hugo. Stay out of trouble and all that. Well, what happened in there? I'm afraid I can't comment on that, Mr. Hugo. Scene's still under investigation. As in crime scene? Well, that's what the sheriff's gonna figure out in the morning. Ugh, I probably shouldn't have said that even. Is it safe for me to be out at this hour? Are you keeping out of the crosswalk over there? Uh, yes. Then you're fine. What's so dangerous about it? I wish I knew. Almost every time we're called out, it's because some pedestrian got hit. An enormous creature jumped out at me at the edge of the woods. Ha! <laughs> First time in deer country, Mr. Hugo. This was no deer. It was brown. Like a deer. Totally silent. Like a deer. You don't understand. It. Relax, Mr. Hugo. You're not the first to get spooked. I promise the deer will leave you alone if you give them the same courtesy. Any chance I could take a look inside? I'm something of a. Aspiring mystery writer? How did you. Suspenders. Right. I'm sorry, Mr. Hugo. We need to make sure nothing's disturbed. You're just going to have to use your imagination. Writers are good at that, aren't they? Oh, well, yeah, we're fabulously good at that. If that crosswalk's so dangerous, why not remove it? We submitted a request to City Hall. Why didn't they do anything? They did. They put up the sign. You sure I can't? He I'm sure, Mr. Hugo. Sheriff's orders. Officer, I think I hear screaming. Someone. I do appreciate your concern, Mr. Hugo. It's faint, but I'm sure it's there. Mr. Hugo, I think you could use a couple more hours of sleep, huh? <laughs> God. Are you really not hearing the screaming? It sounds like it's coming from one block over. Please don't take this the wrong way, Mr. Hugo, but our town does have a world famous psychiatric sanatorium. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, Mr. Hugo. Nothing at all. Stay safe. <laughs> Thinks he's insane. <laughs> oh, God. Sumptuous garments for the discerning elitist. I have something for the those discerning elitists. Go to Main Street Central, I, I guess. I shouldn't venture too far from the hotel without a map. I shouldn't venture too far from the hotel without a map. Don't have a map. I don't have the map. Where can I go? I got a stupid mannequin. Um, yeah. Exercise extreme caution when crossing. This sign isn't kidding. This crosswalk is a death trap. This town's small enough that I should be able to walk most places. But you refuse to do it without a map. That's no use to me. So I guess we're going back inside the hotel. Or the hotel. Maybe I've, m I've missed something.
pretty sure I have to do something with this, but I can't put it on this door. Can I put it on the other doors? This guest wouldn't mind a bit of tidying, right? Oh. It's full of cleaning supplies. <gasps> Tricky. Okay. Oh, I got the laundry key. I got the laundry key. These are all still wet, very wet. Clean and dry, let's see. Ooh, someone might help me close a sale or two while I'm here. Wow, you thief. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Great, now the mannequin's dressed better than I am. Yes. Alright, so what can we do with the mannequin? Let's... Maybe we can distract the police officer with the mannequin? Oh, no, I know. Can I... Throw him in front of the cars? This should look like the real deal to that cop. Here goes nothing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shit! Shit! That wasn't supposed... Oh, God, what have I... 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 I know this man. From my... What? Did he just crap himself? Oh, good Lord! Did you see what happened, Mr. Hugo? I... I, I didn't. I, I heard a crash, and, um... This damn crosswalk! Sign's useless! Get back to your hotel, Mr. Hugo. I'll call an ambulance. Yes, officer. If I keep it down, hopefully he won't even realize I'm in here. The radio should still be in that desk. Time to take a look. Time to take a peek. There it is. And it's turned off? How? Whatever. I need to find that station. No light, no shadows, Oswaldo. No light, no shadows. What? No light, no shadows. No light, no... What? 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 No light, no shadows. What no, the hell? It's happening. I have to warn Lena. Excuse me? <laughs> what? what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what just. Uh, what did I just. Uh, that was him. He was right in front of me. And, and that thing just took him. What did you find, Oswaldo? Did the radio cause my vision of Oswaldo? Oswaldo's diary. Hmm. There's several references to a Lena. Must be the same Lena he mentioned in that vision. Wherever she is, I have to find her. I imagine it'll be easier than finding Oswaldo. Uh, Lena wasn't at 
Lena wasn't at book club, so I stopped by after she opened the door the instant I knocked and asked if I felt the pull that bought me. What the hell does that mean? Hope she just has a fever. The pull of what? I was so concerned for Lena, so I checked in on her. Why can't I stop thinking about this? I need to talk to her again. Some formulas, okay. She opened the door and asked the same question. Suddenly, I realized the answer was yes. She brought me inside and told no, I shouldn't write it down. Can't shake the suspicion that she's right. Need to know for sure. Brought home everything the town archives would part with. Need to cancel plans. It's true, it's got to be. So many flukes, so many coincidences. Were caused by some force moving pieces into place. Is that the same force causing me to discover this? How could I even tell? Went to Lena's share my find went to Lena's to share my findings with no answer. The neighbor told me what happened. I must find a way to reach her, but carefully. If I'm right, even listening to the radio is a threat. Can't drop my guard for a moment. This is a game of light and shadows. Our actions each cast a light, each light in turn casting a shadow. Somehow those shadows can bend, can bend the light, cast them. It follows that I must cast no light. I'm getting too close. I must be vigilant. No light, no shadows. Okay. Oh, well, now I got a map. Oh, sweet. Anything else? Hey, is there anything else I need to get in here? Maybe I can go to the bedroom now? Oh, it's the bathroom. Pretty boring assortment of magazines, especially given what's in the other room. Oh, yeah. I guess I can climb out the window. Now, will it let me go to Main Street now? Oh, sweet. Yes. Candy store, everything's kind of closed. That's a handsome vehicle. Nearly as handsome as the driver. Evening, friend. Care for a motor tour? Motor tour? Like a regular tour, but with a little something extra. You mean a motorcycle? Bingo! What's the tour route? Right up Ventana Hill. Killer views up there, along with our observatory. And then back down, I assume? Oh, walking back down's half the fun. It's the getting up there part that needs a little extra horsepower. Need that extra horsepower. Are you sure that thing's safe? You kidding? Villa Ventana's streets are some of the safest around. You know, besides the deadly and gruesome car accident earlier this evening. Oh, there there was a car accident? You didn't hear it? It was What's a block that? or so that way toward the hotel. <laughs> Couldn't tell whose car it was, but I could tell they didn't make it. Oh. I thought all the talk about that crosswalk was garbage. Now I'm not so sure. She went as mannequins being thrown out. Do you know a person named Lena? Lena? Hmm, maybe rings a bell. Don't think I've met her. Okay, thanks. All right, I'll do the tour. Great. Now, as to the small matter of payment. <laughs> I'm strapped at the moment. Any chance I could ride for free? By any chance, do you mean zero chance? Mm, no. Then no. You know where to find me. 
I sure do, buddy. I sure do. Ooh, City Hall. I go into the museum. Historical documents from the town's early years, letters and contracts and the like. Oh, what a map. An old treasure map. Maybe this town used to be a pirate refuge. It's a dusty wax statue of some old leader. The town's founder, maybe. Ugh, it's sticking to my finger. I'm surprised it hasn't melted. <laughs> Can I melt it with something? It's a badly printed replica of the original town charter. Wait, did they really put don't eat the mushrooms in their founding document? <laughs> must be some pretty bad mus mus mushrooms. Must be some pretty bad mushrooms. Restrooms for city employees only. What? No, I don't need to use the restroom. Then why on earth did you come in here? Is this City Hall? Last I checked. When was that? When my shift started about, I don't know, a thousand years ago. Oh, only a thousand, huh? Not too long. Has a man named Oswaldo been here recently? Not recently enough. He's late. Late. He checked out a pile of old newspapers from the archives. We'll see I made it very clear that he had to return them within three days. And I haven't he didn't. seen him since. Cheap bastard probably used them for kindling. I'm in town for work and thought I'd see the sights. Uh huh. And which site were you interested in seeing exactly? The cabinet jammed with unsorted census surveys? I, I don't know. The building looked big. Figured there'd be something to look at. If you're that desperate for something to do, there's a little Villa Ventana Museum one room over. Don't bother telling me the exhibits are falling apart. I already know, and I already don't care. Oh, wow. I'm looking for the address of... Credentials? I beg your pardon? All requests from municipal residential data require valid authentication from the requesting party. Um, I beg your pardon again? <sighs> I need proof that you're allowed to view town housing records. So, you got proof or not? Oh, I, uh, left it at home. I'll be back. I'm sure you will. Later. Yeah. yeah, well, I can't get into the archives yet. Well, I, or I can. It's just as cluttered as the shelves. Okay, yeah, because he's taking all the freaking, freaking paperwork or whatever. Oh, I buy kebab. <laughs> hey there. What do you got? Hot dogs. Anything else? Things that go on hot dogs? How eclectic. I uh, think I'm all out of eclectics. Selling a lot of hot dogs? Not yet. Waiting for folks to start stumbling out of the bar. After a few rounds, these things go straight from suspicious to delicious. <laughs> you speak the truth. Isn't it about time to wash that apron? Hell no. Gotta keep expectations low. If I look clean, the hot dogs look even filthier by comparison. That's hey, is there a woman in town logic, I guess. Lena? Lena? Oh, sure. I don't see her too often. She's a vegetarian. Do you know where she lives? Sure don't. Someone over there in City Hall should, though. Right. Thanks. One hot dog, please. That'll be three fifty. dollars I'll, um, pay you tomorrow? Then I'll, um, give you a hot dog tomorrow. 
Anything I could take off your hands for free? Got a few expired ketchup packets. How expired are we talking? Sir, that is a very sad question. Just give me the damn packets. Like five years ago. <laughs> and got some expired ketchup. Now that's even better. That's the bar. What's past the bar? Oh, casino. And some matches. Okay, then. Ooh, a bookstore. Bobby likes bookstores. Hello. My name is Harvey Green, and I'm a salesman with McGinty. I'd love to- McGinty? I don't recall their ever sending someone out this way. I believe they haven't, ma'am. I'm here to test the waters, so to speak. How are the waters so far? Lukewarm. <laughs> Not surprised. Wouldn't say the neighboring towns are known for their readers. <laughs> You'd like to sell to me, then? Oh, why not, Mr. Graham? Green. Okay, Bring Mrs. your samples Doubtfire. along tomorrow, and I'll take a look. I appreciate it, Mrs. Oh, Pamela's fine. Pamela. All right, thank you. Was there anything else? Um... Can you see? Move a lot of books lately? Can't complain. Business can't be that bad when there's no competition. <laughs> Only bookstore in town, huh? Great. Others pop up now and then. They all go under trying to compete with the sweet old lady. <laughs> Are you really that sweet? Do you do anything special to bring people in? Oh, plenty. You'll notice the sale bins for starters. We also have a couple of accomplished authors right here in Villa Ventana. I bring them in for readings and signings and the like. Tomorrow we'll be hosting Paul Frey. Ever heard of him? Real heady type. I happen to be a bit of an author myself, and, uh... Oh, you must forgive me. It's been a long day. If you have something for me to read, could it wait until tomorrow? Oh, uh, right. Certainly. Yeah, she's... Feel free to browse. Not interested. Ooh. Can I take the umbrella? I now have an umbrella. Bunch of old books. Okay. Go to the construction worker. Sorry, pal. This whole part of town's under construction. Wow, that sounds like a pretty major development project. Tell me about it. Wait, I can fast travel? I didn't realize I could fast travel. House for sale. Okay, then. Is the doctor's office? Let's do a bit more exploration. See what else is down here. Oh, who's this guy? Evening, sir. Evening. W what is this house? Sir, you stand at the majestic wrought iron gates of the Villa Ventana Sportsman Society. Ooh. The what now? It's a hoity-toity hunting club. Can I take a look around the grounds? I'm doing some sightseeing. At the moment? Absolutely not. 
However, in a few hours' time, the estate will host a soiree that is open to the public. If you care to explore, that will be the ideal and legal time to do so. Got it. Thanks. I do like myself a soiree. <laughs> Okay. Well, now I'm in a dead end. Maybe I can go to this open house thing. Hello? Does any house in this town have people in it? This one does now. What the Fosco Moretti? Realtor. Licensed and accredited. And to whom do I have the pleasure of showing this magnificent piece of real estate? Oh, ho, ho, I am not in the market for a... Oh, ho, ho. Everybody's in the market, my friend. Oh, absolutely. Just standing a little closer to the register. Your name? Uh, Harvey. Well, I have to say, Mr. Harvey, seeing you here in this immaculately tiled parlor, I see a man of purpose. Am I wrong? I have a job, if that's what you mean. Not a job, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> a calling, a yearning from within. You, Mr. Harvey, you aspire. I suppose I'm writing a... An author, my God. God, I stand in the presence of a modern-day Hemingway. Wow, and this you guy is really lying, kissing ass. Right? Mr. Harvey, you must agree that every great writer requires an equally great writing environment. I, uh... Where do you currently do your writing? I travel a lot for work, so mostly from hotel rooms. Hotel rooms? Oh, so drab, so utterly lacking in ambiance. Yes. No, no, that won't do at all. What an artist like you needs, Mr. Harvey, is a house. But not just any house. This house. This house. <laughs> okay, listen, I'm going to stop Shocker. you right there. I'm definitely not buying this house, and I definitely don't want you assuming otherwise. I understand, Mr. Harvey. Thank you. You just need a little more time to see what I see. <sighs> Which is? That you and our sleepy little town are destined for each other. And when you come to that realization, I will be here. I promise you'll be the first to know. Sure thing, buddy. Questions about the residence, Mr. Harvey? Why is the house for sale? Did somebody move out? In a sense. They died, didn't they? they. In every sense. <laughs> Foul play. Hardly. The man was over 90. We were starting to take bets on when he'd keel over. Wow. How's business? A lot of turnover around here? Just enough to keep me afloat. At least there's no competition. <laughs> Most of the families in this town have been here for generation upon generation. Newcomers are rather... Uncommon. <laughs> Welcome, of course, but uncommon. Do you know the address of a woman named Lena? I know the address of most everyone in town, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> but I fear I can't divulge such information. Why not? I am privy to it solely for official property matters. City Hall would have my head were I to violate my sacred realtor's oath. <laughs> yes, I'm indeed. sure you would never break it. Um, okay. Well, I guess I can't answer any other questions then. Take your time. Closet looks a little small. An optical illusion, Mr. Harvey, I assure you. This closet features no fewer than 200 cubic feet of space. I was almost inclined to list it as a second bedroom. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Two hundred. 
I'm not so sure. I don't think I could fit much in there. A skeptic? <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> Allow me then to demonstrate. Just one side of this closet can house a full-bodied man such as myself, with space to spare. I'm telling you, Mr. Harvey, if this closet were any larger, I'd swear it was a gymnasium. <laughs> you know what? You can stay in there. What in the... Mr. Harvey, uh, the door appears to be jammed. <laughs> Could I trouble you for assistance? Uh-oh, it's really stuck. Not to worry. Very common with these older units. <laughs> Try sliding this into the latch, would you please? It's not working. Uh, hold tight. I'm gonna go get help. Oh, um, all right. <laughs> please do hurry, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> Spacious though it is, I fear I failed to inspect this closet for mm, bugs and such. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your own fault. <laughs> oh god man there are lots of empty photo frames that's not weird at all I'm not much for cigars but a cigar cutter might come in handy yeah uh, what else Maybe we can use his credentials to go back to City Hall. I don't know. I'm gonna investigate the museum again. Maybe there's something I'm It's the I'm first hearing. construction paper settlers arriving in construction paper Villa Ventana. Okay. It's a sticky wet. Oh, wait. Is that like an additional point? He's pointing very aggressively. Dare I? Will it let me? Your pointing days are at an end, I'm afraid. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. But she's gonna know. Can I use his card on the clerk? Here you are, my official realtor badge. This doesn't look like you. I've had work done. Ha! <laughs> You've had work done to look like that? Ouch. Listen. I'm sure this is all a misunderstanding. Yes, big How about misunderstanding. you go return that badge to its rightful owner, and I don't go get the sheriff right now. Yep, deal. Okay. Uh, um, there's maybe something else. Man, you could the quick travel is really awesome. I play the piano. Looks like a pretty standard piano to me. I wouldn't know what I was doing. I press a key. It's fine. No, the realtor will hear me clomping around. Okay, well, what else can I explore? Oh, the kitchen. Uh, I got the oven. Ooh, oven's seen better days. Yeah, it's not doing too good, is it? Can I light the oven, though? Wait, can I... I'll just cut my photo off the back cover. I have.
And then can I like... I've stuck the wax over five... I'll consider it a minor miracle if this fools anyone. Now can I come by ha Found my badge. It was under my bed. Hand it over. <sighs> was that really so hard? Now what was it that you even needed? The address of a woman named Lena. Last name? Um, not sure. The telegram with the requisition was smudged. Ah, oh, typical. Just a moment. Ah, oh, it's always something with these guys. Where the hell is Always that something. Lucky for you, there's only one Lena in our records. You have a map? There you go. And hey, what a coincidence, it's finally quitting time. Wait, uh, which side of the street is... Wow. Never mind, I'll figure it out. Oh, I should have held on to that umbrella. I better hurry. You better hurry, sir. This has to be the place. Seems obvious now that I'm here. I don't see anyone around, including the sheriff. Time to get some answers. Hello? Lena? No one's here, as usual. Nope. Oh, radio. Another radio. Could it show me what happened in here? Only one way to find out. Now, where are you, Lena? Magic radio, magic radio. Oh, shit. Let me go! I can't help you! Oh, God. This go dark pretty quick. coming. 